Some people say it was not. You got the same 24 hours in the day that you had when you was six or seven or 15 years old. What can it hurt? And don't be concerned about what other people have to say. Something that you've never done or food you want to eat, anything. Just Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope that um, your day has been going well, your week has been going well. Thanks so much for tuning in to another video. Today I wanted to do something a little different and talk to all of the ladies, all of the ladies of a, a particular age, if you want to consider yourself middle age, or if you don't want to put that title on you. If you're my age or older, so we'll say from 40 and up. I just want to talk about what I have been coming to realize more and more as I've gotten older. And some of the things that I'm choosing to do a little differently. Um, some of the stuff I'm having, you know, just thinking about differently. And I want to, even though I'm talking to the women, I do want to credit my husband as to um, help me see things a little bit differently. So I do realize that the older that I'm getting, the time is just, you know, it's going by, if some people want to say it's going by fast or whatever, some people say it was not, you got the same 24 hours in the day that you had when you was six or seven or 15 years old. And that may well be the case, but it seems like the older that I'm getting, I'm, I'm just realizing like, goodness, like where has the time gone? I remember being, 15, 18, I remember being a lot of different ages, 21, 30, and now I'm 46 years old. And the time has just, it seems to me like it just gone, has gone by so fast. But I'm saying all that to say, if it's something that you want to do, do, do that thing. Don't, don't let more time go by and you haven't accomplished some of the things that you wanted to accomplish. Um, and I understand finances can play a, a huge part into some of the decisions that we make. But even with that being the case, you know, if you have a goal, you set a goal and it's something that you want to do, go ahead and do it. Stop putting off what you want to do. Stop putting off those things, especially from um, being afraid. Stop being afraid. You, If you've reached middle age, that is a blessing. <laughs> it is a blessing to be that age or, or older. It's a blessing. So stop being afraid if it's something you want to do go ahead and do it try it you know you know what can it hurt and don't be concerned about what other people have to say because that's what i'm learning it's like i'm too old for that now if it's something i want to do i'm gonna go ahead and try it at least i know i did it i can say that i tried it y'all i'm in the carpool lane again i have to move so hold on i'll be back if you want to put yourself out there to experience something you've never done before, but you are afraid to because you 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 don't want people looking at you a certain way, ladies, we we are at the age where we shouldn't be concerning ourselves with that because at the end of the day we are all human, and so no one has perfected this thing. If someone has a little bit more experience in it than you, okay, that's fine. Let me know what you think about. It. Have you been stuck or maybe trapped in a, a place of not doing things because of that you you concerned with what other people may think or what they may say about what it is that you're doing so i encourage you if it's something you want to do go ahead and do it don't be concerned with what people have to say because like i said we we've gotten to the point that we don't have to be concerned with that we don't have to if we choose to be that's something but we have a lot of things that we could be doing so many great things that we could accomplish but we we too caught up in what other people think so yeah i just wanted to come on it today and just you know encourage someone if is necessary like let's let's stop holding ourselves back from things that we want to do um, if there's a man watching um encourage y'all as well <laughs> don't don't be afraid to to um to step out and do something that you have been going back and forth with wanting to do whether it's because of you being afraid or you bashful or shy don't don't let that stop you because the time is steadily moving steadily going ahead and one day we're not gonna have the opportunity to do those things that we want to do so do it this this is encouraging for myself I, like i said I've, I've done some some things i'm starting to you know do more things that i 
probably would have been too afraid to do. And I know we shouldn't even be like that as um, believers. We shouldn't fear. But we're human. So sometimes we get caught up in, in, in that. So I'm not saying that I'm just going to start something new and, and just be the life of the party and be out doing the most or whatever. No, I'm not going to be doing the most. But if it's something that I want to do, something I want to try, I'm going to stop putting off saying I want to, want to do something and just and do it. Let me also add this uh, um, as well. If you're a believer, you, you might need to be guided. Not needs, may, may. You, you do need to, to be guided, but some stuff I know we just wait and we put it off and put it off and put it off and it never gets done. And some stuff we're not even asking. We're not even asking if it's okay for us to do it because we're too afraid to do that. So stop being afraid. And, and do that thing, whether it's starting a business, whether it's trying a new food, whether it's putting on a, a shade of lipstick that you didn't even think you could wear because you were afraid of what it may look like and what somebody else may say. Let's stop doing that. So like I said, I just wanted to encourage y'all, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Have y'all held yourselves back because of stuff like that? Like I said, I'm, I want to do better. I'm going to do better. I've been doing better. So like I said, this is just my encouragement to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up um, and share the video with someone else if, if they may need some encouragement and maybe they can come into the, the conversation. But again, thanks so much for watching. So much for tuning in to another video and until the next video, I will see you later. Bye-bye.